Hello, my name is Luis and I'm a machine learning engineer at Zama, where I work on ConcreteML. In the latest release of ConcreteML 1.4, you will find a new feature that allows you to train a linear binary classifier in FHE. Linear classifiers are simple, explainable, and have many applications, like Redis scoring, online ad targeting, or sentiment analysis. With FHE, multiple parties can blindly train classifiers on joint data without revealing it. In previous versions, ConcreteML was focused on doing machine learning model inference in FHE. But training is now possible, and this new feature gives the ConcreteML tradition of mimicking the scikit-learn API in order to be easy to use and to hide any complexity that users shouldn't worry about. This presentation is based on the examples in the ConcreteML documentation and more specifically, in the Logistic Regression Training Notebook. Let's dive in. Let's consider the IRIS dataset for this example. First, we normalize the feature to have them all on the same scale to help with quantization. Also, we only consider petal width and length as features for better visualization. Then, the dataset is processed to make it a binary classification dataset, which is for now the only training task that is supported in FHE in ConcreteML. Now that this is done, let's train a baseline using scikit-learn to see what kind of accuracy can be expected. All right, it looks like with scikit-learn, we get a 94% accuracy and a clean separation boundary between the two classes. Now let's do the same, but this time on encrypted data with FHE. The concrete ML API is the same as the scikit-learn one with this new fit encrypted flag that tells concrete ML that fitting should be done in FHE. On my M1 MacBook Pro, I get about 3 seconds per iteration, and in 15 iterations, we get the same accuracy as the scikit-learn model, with the clear separation boundary between the two classes. You might want to check that you can train to good accuracy on other datasets. To do that more quickly, you can use FHE simulation, which is what we do here on the breast cancer dataset. We use the same preprocessing as before, scaling the features to the minus 1 1 range. We get a slightly different accuracy between the scikit-learn model and the ConcreteML one. ConcreteML also provides the API to do partial fitting. This gives more control over the batches to the users, and it also enables monitoring during training. Here, we see that the model reaches a final accuracy of 94 points, which is similar to scikit-learn model accuracy. We just saw that you can easily train a simple linear binary classifier in FHG using ConcreteML. This new encrypted training feature gives accuracy that is on par with scikit-learn training. Training on encrypted data is particularly useful for collaboration between multiple parties that want to boost the accuracy of their models through collaborations while preserving data confidentiality. We will be extending support to multi-class and other types of models in the future. That's all for me, and I hope to see you for our next release. In the meantime, you can find us on the concrete ML channel of fhe.org's Discord, or on GitHub and our community website.